intentionally or unintentionally, I've been to the defense department site, and his response, this is one paragraph of about six, talking about terrorism. Others are engaging even in the type of eco terror, the type of terrorism we're about to control the climate, so earthquakes, volcanoes, remotely through the use of electromagnetic waves. So there are plenty of ingenious minds out there that are at work finding ways to take a terror on other nations. It's real, and that's why we have to intensify our counterterrorism efforts. Why would he include climate, volcanoes, and earthquakes? And unless something's... Yeah, it's like Romy saying that he used a missile under the Pentagon, right? Yeah, you've been involved in so many ops that you forget which one we're talking about. So, I mean, at, at some point... Oh, that didn't take... All right, this is here we are. So we have that quote in 96. I was ignorant in 96 about what was going on. 96, 97. I had no clue. No clue. I um, got interested in weather in the Boy Scouts. It was 1978. I think I was... 12, uh, 12 at the time, it's going through the Boy Scout uh, merit badge book, I come across weather and I'm like, easy merit badge. I can do this one. Easy. So uh, what I did, and one of the requirements was that I had to log the weather for 30 days and watch the evening news, forecast, and, and just kind of log the weather. Well, how long do they say it takes to make a habit, to create a habit? How many days do you have to do something? I was at 21. 20, yeah. Yeah, 20, 21. If you do it for three weeks, you're good to go. You lit the fire. Well, 30 days, the fire was late. And so I just stuck with it. I was living out in the middle of nowhere, Idaho at the time. And um, I just kind of fell in love with it. And uh, I had a 9.30 bedtime at the time. This let me stay up till 10.20. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I was up and watching the news and, and, and logging and, and just really kind of getting into, into weather. Um, and so that, that's kind of where my weather began. Uh, a year earlier, Oxford was that, that next winter, uh, 79, and it was so cold. I bought a high-low thermometer, stuck it out in the back, built a box for it. I remember uh, New Year's Day, 
office of the balance of parts. And uh, Whitaker suggested that gravity possessed a weight like undulatory character. And I no doubt you've seen this undulatory character in the clouds. You've seen that. I may have to show you examples, but you've seen that. But it's gravity that's causing it. Gravity is being changed. Southern Plains, they will discuss the gravity waves and their potential to enhance thunderstorm severity. But they don't know where they originate from. Boom, gravity waves. You gotta watch those. They don't look back. Look, where did that wave begin? They don't know. They don't know. Maybe if they look at the planes, they get a clue. <laughs> oh, Tesla, anybody from Tesla? some of that work, if he could get his theory of everything instead of just the theory of relativity. Yeah, I mean, so was this little battle going on within physics you know, 60, 70, 80 years ago? And it just, uh, Tesla promises to light the dark side of the moon. It's part of the scheme for his interplanetary radio. Distance means nothing. This is huge. Distance means nothing. Has four new inventions. Got this. Tesla tells us that Mars What's curious is uh, earthquakes. We're all familiar with the power of earthquakes and how they can, you know, really just kind of level level cities very very quickly. Tesla's controlled earthquake powers through the Earth. Started with discovery once again. Successful passage of an induction current in a very flux or circle that uses a use of a communicator. Cosmic ray scalar wave studies. Thunderstorm to, to steer a hurricane. 